The weather has been a popular topic of conversation since time began. Scientists started recording weather data routinely in the 15 and 1600s, but it wasn't until the invention of the telegraph in the early 19th century that meteorologists could share data to make predictions. All early forecasting was based on interpolation of data gathered from ground stations, ships and weather balloons. But just over 30 years ago, the first European weather satellite, Meteosat-1, revolutionized weather forecasting. Since then, predictions have become more and more reliable. By using images from space and incorporating ground and sea data, weather services like this one in Germany can calculate the forecast for up to seven days. Nowadays, their predictions are accurate to within one or two degrees. Jointly developed by ESA and UMETSAT, the European Organization for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites, the Meteosat satellites deliver weather and climate-related data and images 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. This enables an updated view of global weather conditions every 15 minutes and a refreshed picture of European weather every five minutes. Today, UMETSAT operates a fleet of satellites, including the second-generation geostationary satellites, whose overview is now complemented by detailed observations provided by the polar orbiting METOP satellite. It's a constantly developing field. Obviously, our, our, our users need more. Like, like with television, they need higher resolution. They, they, they want to make sure we, we get more accurate data to them and they want it more often. Researchers are now working on a third generation of even more accurate satellites. The technology is about to take major leaps with completely new designs in the pipeline. The current second generation is a spin stabilized satellite. The disadvantage there is that doing one rotation, the instruments look only 5% of their time to the Earth and can take measurements. Mm -hmm. And with a three-axis stabilized satellite, we increase that time capable to observe the Earth. Another development that will be introduced with the third generation of satellites is that they'll work in pairs. So we actually have a, two types of satellite. One has the imaging program and the other one has the sounding program. Now, whereas the imager, you get good pictures, you, you can't tell what's happening through the atmosphere. With the infrared sounder, you can actually tell the different uh, cloud structures and, and content of the atmosphere at different levels. Certainly by the end of this decade, we will have both up in orbit and we'll, we'll see whether this additional data does give us better weather. Well, <laughs> predict <laughs> the weather better. <laughs> so weather predictions will become more and more reliable. This is vital for businesses, from agriculture to emergency services to airlines and airports. It means they can plan better and save money. Today, three-day forecasts have a reliability of 90%. With these third-generation Meteosat, meteorologists hope to gain a fourth day with the same reliability. They also hope to be able to improve the prediction of rain from the current forecasting ability of one hour to 10 hours advance warning. Thanks to these enhanced satellites, predicting the weather will become even more accurate in future.